Patrick. Mona is a founding board member of the Association of Asian Indian Women in Ohio. Mona is currently president of FICA, the Federation of Indian Community Associations, and Mona will be inducting Karanjit Singh into the Cleveland International Hall of Fame. It is indeed an honor with me as the president of such dynamic and distinguished group of people. When Paramjit initially asked me to be the one to induct him, I thought to myself, not only am I not a public speaker, but what am I going to say? So I spoke to Debbie and she said, nothing, two minutes, that's it. And then I said, I started researching and I started writing what I knew about Paramjit. And if I were to speak all that, I would just say whatever I had read and written, we'd be here all night. And we're not going to do that. When I first met Paramjit in 1970, I had just come from India. We met at an event that had something to do with our temple. We chatted for a bit, and I realized then that we had a few things in common. Both of us are from Calcutta. We both went to rival colleges and both were from the Sikh faith, that bond is very valuable to us even today. What that Sikh faith meant to him was demonstrated very early on in 1965. He was the first Sikh to wear his turban to the graduation ceremony at Case Western Reserve University, rather than the traditional mortar board. In the 60s, that was unheard of. Even today, in the troubled times we live in, he follows the tradition of not cutting his hair and wears his beard and turban with pride. Just last year at Philanthropia Luncheon at Lander Haven, he was asked to say a few words. And the first line he spoke was, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Singh and I'm not a terrorist. That's a very courageous thing to do today and speaks volumes about the man. He has very eloquently educated the members of the Rotary Club, the Lions Club, and the Kiwanas in the Sikh religion, which is, by the way, the fifth largest religion in the world. Along came the 80s. Paramjit had served as the vice president of the National Federation of Indian Americans. Under his leadership, we held the fifth biennial convention in Cleveland in 1988, which was which, by the way, was due largely to Paramjit's dedication and months of hard work. It has been the most successful convention yet. It was at this very convention that I asked him, Paramjit, why do you do all this? You haven't sat down for a minute, no lunch, no breaks. He, he took me by the shoulders, looked me in the eyes and said, Benji, which means sister, somebody has to do it. It has to be done. Why not me? That was my first glimpse into the world of Paramjit. What his values, principles, integrity, diligence, and service to mankind was above all else. He doesn't just say things. He follows through with action. Soon after that, Paramjit and, his, and Linda, his lovely wife, proposed and formed the service arm of FICA, Project SEBA, which literally translated means service to, service to the community. Under their guidance and leadership, we served meals around Cleveland area churches and the Indian Community Center on Cedar and Fairmount every Thanksgiving. This program is, has been adopted nationwide by the Indian community about 125,000 hot meals are served around the country at Thanksgiving each year. We also serve hot meals every month at St. Mo Coleman's, Hopewell Church, and for the past few years, we've been distributing blankets to various shelters to commemorate the birthday of Reverend Martin Luther King. The prestigious City Club of Cleveland recently hosted a panel discussion on Sikhism. Who was responsible for that? Of course, Paramjit. I could go on and on about what he has accomplished and what his plans for the future are. He's working with leaders from the Northeastern Ohio region 
to hold a World Peace Conference in Cleveland, and much, much more. He has served as the president of FICA and is currently on the board of trustees of the same. In closing, I was reading something the other day and a line just sums up Maranjit. And I quote, Dignity and success does not come in possessing honors, but in deserving them. You, dear Paramjit, deserve them more than anyone else I know. <coughs>